All right. So we've got a big old mess here. So let me tell you how I had to figure this out. Um, so, all right, so we've got the DuraSpark uh, distributor. It's a Bosch distributor back here. And so I ran the two wires into the side of the GM uh, module and I had power and the other one was the uh, the coil negative which is the switching circuit <clears throat> well it idled perfectly however uh, what was going on is it had a under acceleration it would spit and sputter so what I finally ended up doing is I looked to Facebook for help because I wasn't real sure what I was doing wrong here because I've got good compression good plug wires good coil uh, new spark plugs uh, compressions 125 across the board and I hooked my, uh, and we've probably covered this in another uh, video with the portable ignition that was on the Scout. And uh, with the portable ignition it actually ran okay. Well, I mean it's it's okay that spark is so hot it jumps from terminal to, to terminal. So what I ended up doing was, uh, so I went down and got a DuraSpark Blue Grommet ignition module and of course these are a lot different than the original they're a little bit smaller maybe they'll be just as good I don't know so I ran power into the red wire and then power under start with the black wire or uh, white wire the black wires were ground and the green one here goes over to the coil negative and then the purple and orange are in the distributor and with the DuraSpark ignition it starts and runs good and under acceleration it doesn't spit and sputter the only thing I can think of is the GM ignition module is not able to compensate for timing it's about the only thing that I think could be the problem that or it does the stator it's uh, the Hall effect stator down in the distributor does not have the same type of signal uh, that generates from the module or the module does not see the signal the same way as the DuraSpark ignition does. So there might be a resistance difference and there may be just a different switching uh, whether it be sine wave or square wave. I think this is a sine wave system though. So anyway I thought I could redneck this thing and use a uh, $15 uh, actually about a $10 GM distributor module because I've done that on my MSD for my other Ford pickup uh, when the MSD failed I could I ran this system and it worked perfect and I figured I could use the same thing but there may be a difference in the MSD system it's not the same as a Ford system it's probably closer to a GM so that's why the GM module worked so I was able to hook this DuraSpark module up and it seemed like it runs fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it somewhere here and run some wiring over to the uh, module. I uh, thought about maybe even putting it on the firewall, make the the wires a lot shorter, and I may still do that. And then I'm gonna put that this is a part two. And I'll button everything up here. I've got to put antifreeze. I've got to put uh, some new coolant hoses. I've got uh, alternator and everything. I mean, it's just basically just the cylinder heads are on, intake carburetor and everything. Carb runs fine. Uh, sounds like it's doing good. I do need to add a power for the choke, which is going to be somewhere. I think in this mess here, 
somewhere in in this mess of wires I'm gonna get power to that choke so it'll it'll open up and I think after that we should be good I may put a chrome air cleaner instead of using the factory one so it breathes a little bit better because I think once you push these punch these engines out a little bit you clean the exhaust out and you uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, fix the EGR so it's not constantly open and things like that I think these things actually run okay you know basically this is a Bobcat engine uh, out of a Bobcat or a Mustang 2 and uh, you know they they were okay they burned a little oil and they drank a little fuel but they did all right so anywhere we'll leave the video with that and we'll get you another thumbs up thanks thanks for watching